एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू एन अदर सेशन विद मी संयुक्ता सक्सेना एंड टूडे आई हैव रेक्टेंगुलर पीस ऑफ पेपर इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी राइट सो वी हैव बीन रनिंग दिस सीरीज ऑन जेंटेंगल और नेट फ्रेम्स और जेंटेंगल कार्टूश और टेंगल फ्रेम्स वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कॉल इट राइट सो आई हैव डन सम वर्क ऑन दिस पीस ऑफ पेपर सो आई हैव जस्ट क्रिएटेड सम कॉर्नर्स फोर कॉर्नर्स हेयर विथ माई पेंसिल ड्रॉ ऑन सम रफ लाइन्स because i am going to write something here right and to that writing i am going to give it a simple border and some corners right so let us start so today is again a reiki theme right so as i told you i am a reiki practitioner and i strongly believe in it so let us write the principles of reiki or the reiki assertions today and then we shall decorate it right so i am going to be using my identity pen you can also use your normal o1 or pn whatever you are comfortable with right but let us first draw something so i'm going to be adding uh, probably we'll use the pen only so i'm going to start with drawing a small roll paper kind of thing yeah something like this paper scroll yeah on both sides yeah again here down below yeah again a paper roll kind of thing what we also called a scroll simple one yeah and then i'm going to join this by a line so let me first use my pencil here so from here i'm going to start and join it here like this probably yeah small one probably this needs to be a little inside yeah so that's the scroll and now i'm going to be working on it so let us get started and write first so you can also add a slight border to the scroll so let us ink this first so that we know where do we have to limit just a few cracks here and there yeah yeah so simple scroll and now i'm going to start writing small so again just to tell you i am not a calligrapher so please pardon me i'm sure you can do a better job just for today i will not worry yeah just for today i will not be angry be angry yeah 
just for today I will be grateful Yeah just for today I will do my work honestly Just for today I will be kind to my neighbor and all living things. all living things yeah so that's our writing i hope you can see it clearly yeah so i'm sure you can draw or you can write it better so use your calligraphy skills here right and now let us move on to the next so i'm now going to give it a border right so we are going to start with mocha so i am using my burgundy pen here you can also use your black pen yeah so simple mocha border also called as elegant so i'm first going to draw mokas like this yeah so take your time go slow So Mooka is a very versatile pattern, makes for an excellent filler, makes for an excellent border tangle, a standalone tangle, for alphabets, anything. You can mold it the way you want to. Right, so I am going to continue like this, simple exercise, two mukas starting from the same point and touching the lower line and the other one touching the top line, yeah, so going to continue like this. So I am done with that exercise of adding mukas and now I am going to fill in these small spaces that I have with some flux. Yeah. So I am going to draw flux like this. Fill in the small little spaces that are left.
first let me add flux to all like this yeah I hope you can see it clearly So just adding the tangle flux in between these leftover spaces. If you want you can add some orbs, you can aura, you can add crescent moon there. For example you fill in this space and add some auras, even then it will look nice. Yeah. So going to continue like this simple exercise done with that exercise so I'm now going to switch to a brown pen because I need a thinner nib yeah and just going to add these flux the lines inside the flux and then I'm going to be side by side inking in the small little spaces left in between my tangles yeah so wherever you can insert a knob that's okay if you can't then just ink in the rest of the spaces like this yeah so small little spaces you can comfortably ink in add those lines inside the mocha and fill in the rest of the spaces yeah so that much exercise needs to be done to complete your border tangle yeah So I am going to continue like this. So continuing with the same process I am almost finishing filling up the small little spaces left in between my mochas. Either filling it up completely or adding few orbs here and there depending on the spaces that are available. Right so. Just take it easy and take that time, make that effort to fill in those small pretty spaces, add to your flux, few lines. Yeah. Small little spaces that add a lot to the look of your tangle yeah so we are pretty much done and that's how the border looks like after we have filled in the small little spaces right so the next step is I am going to add some thin aura like this probably I'll use my black pen now yeah so going to add a thin aura inside again rotate Add a thin close aura to the border yeah. 
yeah and the last side yeah and then I'm going to be adding some border I'm sorry corner right border we have already done so I'm going to be adding corners here so just giving it the shape yeah so rounded the corners and now I'm going to draw something inside it so you can draw whatever you feel like so let us draw something with has to do with mocha only since mocha is the theme of the day we have already added a border with mocha so just add a simple corner with mocha yeah So use your imagination and you can come up with so many different kind of borders here. So just I'm going to stick to my mukas and flux probably. Today is the day for them. Yeah. And then going to fill in these small tiny spaces. Yeah. And the spaces here. So you can also add some fescues and create a corner with that, right? So it's just kind of going with the mocha. So I thought I will do that. So again, the same thing. I'll show you once more. Simple. Again, coming from the other side. Yeah. Some petal shapes, just like flux. Some lines. Yeah, and then some filling up. And the small little spaces left here and there. Ink it in so that looks complete, coherent. Yeah, so I'm going to do the, exactly the same for the rest too. Yeah. So I've added the same corner to all the four sides and this is how it looks like. Right. So the last exercise that I'm going to be doing here is add some fescues like these and then going to aura them and add a few tipples here and there. Yeah, just to give it a more ornamented look. Yeah, something like this and just going to probably start from here only and add an aura. So just going to aura these fescues just as we do for embedded lettering in case you are aware. Yeah, add some rounding here and there at the corners where lines are turning yeah 
add one or two ops here and there not many yeah and then again going to add one more aura simple exercise just a little decoration at the two sides yeah so again the same exercise this side also So you can see how simple pattern today we have only touched on one pattern that is mocha and you can already see how decked up it looks right so we don't need anything else with mocha they are self-sufficient so just rounding a bit adding few orbs here and there and then going to repeat the aura one more time That's about it. I think we are done. So let us now move on to shading. So I'm going to pick up my pencil now and first start with the center. So shading a scroll is pretty easy. Just shade the two sides and highlight the center. Yeah. So more towards this, this side because it is folded. So going under and less on this side. Yeah. again more where it is undergoing a fold and then little bit on this side and the two ends like this yeah simple and then a little touch on the inside maybe the paper is little old and the ends are kind of uneven and brown or darker in color yeah <laughs> so fun to shade this also a scroll and then we will add graphite as we do for any border tangle on both sides of our border so add a thin line because we have to blend both sides without covering the center so make sure you have to add a thin line you add a thin line yeah so again so you can pick up any message that you want just an example of how you can frame a write up beautifully with just one tangle yeah and give it a scroll look paper scroll so that was the only objective So you don't need too many things here just two pen and a paper a black and a brown pen is all that I've used here and the shading tools yeah Done with adding that now on the mochas a touch not much and here on the flux yeah mocha generally we highlight the pots and flux we can highlight the place from where the petals are emanating yeah not much to shade here because spaces are small so just small little highlights here and there yeah and then probably one small outline to this 
small decoration that we did on the inside so I'm just adding an outline to that and we'll just mildly blend it So just go with minimum tools here, just adding a bit thicker so that we can pull it more towards the paper and the paper looks a little oldish, yeah. So that's why I'm just adding a little thicker. So all these things come to your mind only when you start to, you know, and I don't really draw the whole thing before the video. So it's just a rough thing in my mind and then just go ahead with it. Yeah. So now let us start blending. So blending my scroll first. You just have to blend the graphite but leave a highlight. So a shadow will also be there so you can always add little darkness below here because the paper is rolled. So there will be a little darkness there. Yeah, a little touch on these. Yeah, that's about it. Not much of shading. Yeah, same is here. So little blending below, a little more above. And since this is again going under, so little darkness there. And then the two sides of the scroll and then mild blending on the sides let us first blend this so I'm going to blend it more pull it from the sides towards the center as much as I can so that the perfect white paper turns somewhat oldish yeah <laughs> So going to take out, take away the graphite a little lavishly, spread it across. Probably you can also try doing this on a tan paper. So tan paper tangling is a different experience altogether because of the chalk that shows, shows very prominently on tan paper yeah so not so much on white as on tan so I think you got a picture of what I was trying to do here so just that old paper feel look Again, some blending here also. So some of my students do ask me which pencil do I use. It is a normal 2B pencil. A little darker, although Zentangle uses an advice with only HB pencil. So that is sufficient, but this is a 2B pencil. I use them alternatively. 
sometimes 2B, sometimes HP. Yeah. But brand is not my concern here. So you can use any HP or 2B pencil if the Zentangle original stationery is not available with you. That's okay. Yeah, so blending it a little open heartedly <laughs> yeah so almost taking it to the right up so has this nice old paper look So this paper is 300 GSM, it is pretty thick and it is almost like a card paper. Yeah. So now that we have blended the inside, let us touch upon our mochas. Not much to do here, just a touch. We don't want the entire thing look grey. Yeah. So just a small touch on the mocha, the heads especially. Not much space at the other places. Again a small touch on the heads. Yeah. So what I was talking about was you can use any write-up and create a birthday message, any greeting in this form. Right? A nice variation disposition from a card usual card greeting card so now blending just softening the graphite but not pulling it too much anywhere just rubbing it where it is yeah because you want the center to be white else the beauty of the border would go yeah, again the same thing just blending the graphite a bit without pulling it too much towards the center yeah. again the last just blend soften it don't spread it too much so you can pick up a tangle of your own choice and make it the tangle of the day and work around that tangle instead of the mocha that's fine yeah so we have blended it and now the chalk pencil a touch press it hard in the center yeah so just highlight the center so I'm just pressing it hard so that there is a white line in the center some people also use the jelly roll but I am not quite comfortable. I want the highlight to show but not so much. Yeah. So I think that's about it. If you want you can highlight a little here. Yeah. And we don't need anything else. That's our project for the day. I hope you can see it clearly. Yeah. So thanks for watching and we shall meet again with another project idea, another ornate frame. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.